Today we're back at my little pomegranate that I started from seed back in 2016. At the end of the last video on this tree I'd pretty much just repotted it and it started to grow. You can see here a few weeks after the repot that it's ready for a trim. I'm pretty much taking everything back and then just removed a few branches that were just in wrong or bad places. I could have removed them sooner or even knocked them off when they were just buds but I just let everything grow out. All those leaves will be sending energy back down to the roots, which is important after a repot, especially when you take them back as hard as I often do. And here it is after. Back to the bare minimum. This tree is strong. As you can see a few weeks later it already gone crazy. Shoots have popped out absolutely everywhere on this thing, it's crazy. So I just trimmed it back again. I just shortened everything and then went back through and tried to work out what to keep. This tree goes crazy, it will send multiple shoots out from the one spot. So if you don't remove some, they'll all just grow into a big ugly knuckle. Here I'm trying to show you that there is multiple shoots coming from one spot. It's not super clear but hopefully you get the idea. So basically you need to get rid of some of these and just leave two. So after the second trim of the season you can see it's pretty much back to bare bones again in May. And like last time, it went wild again. Probably could have been pruned again, but I just I just left it. Here it is in July. Now it's now it's totally insane. It definitely needs pruned, but this is when everything started going a bit wrong, so this tree was basically ignored. The only care was just basic watering and that was it. Yeah, now it's really overgrown. This'll do it no harm, but we'll see later exactly how it's affected it. And here it is in September. Growth is starting to slow down now. But you can see by how it's grown that it was up against the side of the grow area wall. It kind of looks a bit squished on one side. Here we are in October, where the stupid sun ruined the shot. It actually got a flower bud, which is strange, but it didn't actually flower. I think it just kind of fell off. <laughs> this tree is about four years old here, so maybe next year it will flower properly. In November, it started to lose its leaves. Not many, but it's started. Still inside, but it'll be going into the shed soon so it can go fully dormant. Here it is in December, just before I put it into the shed for the winter. So it's had some impressive growth this year, definitely thickened up quite a bit. Here it is at the end of February. I took it back inside a little earlier than planned, but it's had plenty of time being outside, being cold and dormant, so it's going to be fine. But all this growth is going to need to be cut back. But if you can see here, there is loads of growth coming from the same spot, like four branches. So as I was saying earlier in the video, it's important to come in and remove the extra shoots and just leave two or you'll end up with a big knuckle which obviously I didn't do here so I need to remove a full chunk to sort this out I didn't leave too big a wound but you can see here the bit I removed five branches from the one place there is no way that could have stayed
I did this all over the tree and took it back to the bare bones and this is what was left. Although I wasn't too sure about that top it still looked a bit too heavy. So I took it back a bit more and now this is what we're left with. A few weeks later in March it's about to start to swell so it's time for a repot. If you look at the soil the tree has actually started to rise up out of the pot so you know it's going to be pretty full in there. I don't know why I'm wearing a glove, I think it's because the soil is wet and I'm doing it with my hands dirty. I'm trying to let this slightly dry out but I forgot and stupidly watered it. But anyway, you can see it was very full of roots. I raked it out and this is what I was left with. Super long roots for that little pot. But not surprising when you consider how much the top grew. And of course I absolutely butchered it. It's actually got a decent root spread but I do find extreme cutbacks help with this. Been a bit tame on the roots in my last couple of videos, so hopefully these roots make up for that. But I know the tree can take it, and as it's about to leaf out, it shouldn't phase it one bit. So I just stuck it back in the same pot. And I still don't care about the front and all that. But we are getting closer to caring about that, but just not yet. And here we are a few weeks later. Growing like mad again. So I took it back, it'd be rude not to. My plan is to stay on top of this tree this year, so I'm expecting a stupid amount of trimming this year. Once I had everything trimmed back, I was able to have a good look at it and work out what branches to keep and what ones to remove. Like before, some multiple branches in one spot, so you can't have that. These ones now that are left should hopefully develop throughout this year and will become the primary branching. So I'm excited to see what happens this year. Thanks for watching. See you next time.